Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2. I uh, <laughs> had to go through that entire intro again uh, because I stopped the video at a bit where they were talking and never started it again like immediately. <laughs> ah well, right here we go. So episode 2. Um, we will just quickly get up here, turn the lights on, get to the next day. So I apologise for that, for the, the little setback here. Turn that on. Take that. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Um, hello. Hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, so she says different things depending... No, I, I chose all the right things. I, cho I chose all the same the same dialogues again, like when I was going through that intro again. So it might just be randomised. Hmm. Well, at least you got two different intros there. See, this is this is what I forgot Morning, to record. Henry. Well, <laughs> I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay. Pick up radio. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. I guess it's what six. 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi... What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yep. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Like, kick the shit out of him, sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one okay. in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually bad for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's head down then. All right, and we will need. Oh, whoa! Right, so we need to go over to the Jonesy Lake. All right, so it's over this way. Um, is it this way? Oops. Nope. It's up this way. Idiot. Okay. You'd think after playing this, like, the preview build, like, twice, I would know where I'd be going. 
But yeah, so, yeah, what about yesterday's intro, guys, eh? Man, what a... What a devastating story for this character. It's, uh, it really is a total shame. Um, come on, why is this happening to me? So, yeah. Yes, there's the cash there, okay. Supply cash. Right, so one, two, three, four. Get some rope. Um, copy information. I was told by my buddy Unite the Clans, who's covering this as well, uh, that I should always, 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 like copy down the information. Uh, Ron, hey man, can you? Uh, couldn't take it, so I locked uh, locked up his lockout, lock lookout, and uh, put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking to the park, but it gets effed when I'm back. Let's get effed when I'm back. Okay. Oh, get a hold of that. Take. Deal with whoever it is setting off fireworks. Okay. So let's do this then. Right. Um. Quickly check. Right. Okay. There you go. Sorry about the background noise of my PC, guys. My PC's a total shambles. It's the processor, really. Like, everything else is fine in it. Like, I think I've got, like, 16 gig of RAM and, you know, all that jazz. Like, a 2 gig graphics card and everything. It's not it's not an amazing graphics card, but, yeah. Uh, I think it's my processor that's the main problem. But you can hear it, like, try to take off like a jet engine. Which is not very good. Rope hook. There you go. Ooh. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Uh, yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's a 50-foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. No, no, no! Oh. <laughs> to me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Okay. Thanks for that, lady. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Hmm. There's all the beers. Pick up. Clean. 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 I'm a park ranger after all. It's my job to keep this place looking good. Okay. Man, frame dips, man. This is ridiculous. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, shit. Parents are Irish. Pretty good. We'll keep that. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Jerks. Absolute jerks. What was this? Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Well, 
not that big exciting. Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Uh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Ugh, I know. Took all of your stuff. The fireworks, the whiskey, you name it. What? Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. So, um... Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. <laughs> there you go then. Hey, that go Jerks. okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Okay, so let's let's get back then, eh? Shall we? Oh man, sorry about the slight frame dips. Every every so often, a PC struggling like <laughs> so annoying. The game looks beautiful though. I think the game looks totally fantastic. Man, PC, stop being a piece of crap. Yes, yes, very good. I can hear your jet engine noises. It's brilliant. You're awesome. Thanks, thanks for that. Okay. So, nice place. Gorgeous. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay. No worries. We shall, uh, try our best to get back to the lookout as soon as possible. So our PC can get a bit of a rest. <laughs> some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Yeah, well, after getting struck by lightning like freaking seven times, I'm not surprised. One, two, three, four. Copy information. Yes. In here. Oh, nice. A flashlight. Sweet. Battles for it, though. Oh, oh, there you go. Horn. Examine. Okay. Right stick to toggle the flashlight. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? 
Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, it's starting to get dark really quick. Really quick. Okay. Oh, come on. Stop being slow, PC. Whoa. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Could have been a total psycho, though. <sighs> okay, man, my PC is absolutely getting blutered by this. It's not like it's at a lower resolution. <laughs> than what I was recording the preview build <laughs> and I've turned effects down and everything, like all the light shafts and everything why is it struggling so bad? I have no idea what the heck is going on with this my goodness trail closed sign, get up there <laughs> We are almost at the end of episode two, guys. That's been a slightly longer episode. Ah. Salmon. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forest Burns. Are you joking me? It's annoying that it skips the dialogue. Or vandalism. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. It's really annoying. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know 
either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Okay. Well, uh, we'll let this load in, folks, just in case there's any dialogue that I might skip. Uh, and then we'll we'll call that an episode. So, yeah. What, what the crap, eh? Somebody breaking in. <laughs> Wake up. Okay. Hey, wake up. Reply. Oh, wake, wake. wake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well. You probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the end of episode two. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye!